Well, hey church, uh, even it's Monday morning and I want to remind you that you're still in church, even, even, even on Monday, even when we're not gathered together. And after yesterday's advice from the CDC, um, trying to encourage groups to not meet in excess of 50, um, because we don't have really a way to control um, weekly attendance in this building, we've decided it is in our best interest for the at least next week, and we will judge week to week. But as for next week, we will be meeting in a virtual campus. And so we want to invite everyone to join us online um, next Sunday. I know uh, for some of you, this is a difficulty um, and this is a challenge because I know for many, this seems overblown. Um, for others, we are just trying to remind ourselves that we're trying to love our neighbor as best we can. We're trying to be as safe as we can and as cautious as we can. And so we are trying to take the advice of the CDC and follow their guidelines and their instructions to the best of our ability. And so I know last week we weren't the best at our virtual uh, service, but we're going to be a lot better this week. We are going to be prepared this week, and we're going to be prepared in coming weeks. Um, we don't know how long this will go, um, but we want to remind you that we don't need a building to be a church. Uh, the first church didn't have a building. All they had was one gathering, and then they scattered apart. And so... Um, this is new territory, we're doing the best we can, and I know that you're doing the best you can in your circumstances as well. Luke, tell us a little bit about our student ministry. Sure. Yeah, well, uh, as our youth leaders were talking last night and discussing what we might do if things continue um, to have prohibitions on meeting together and things like that, uh, we decided as a team that we were just going to stick to whatever the church decided, and um, we just kind of want an even, clear... Um, way of communicating with everyone across the board. So because our church isn't going to be meeting at this time physically, we are not going to be meeting as a youth ministry physically at this time. Now, similar to Sunday morning church, we are going to do um, youth group online, and so we're going to be streaming that. Um, we're going to look into some ways, basically, of um, sending all our youth, and even parents, you can join in with your kids and watch the message, and then um, we're going to try and figure out a way where our small group leaders can then, after we watch a message together, can um, maybe do Zoom or some other platform to check in and talk together and pray together because um, the heart of church is the community and the relationships. And we want to make sure even though we can't be physically together, we can still keep our relationships strong. And so really our priority is trying to figure out ways we can do that during this time. And on that note, I know many of you are going to be uh, at home, stuck together, maybe more than you're used to. And so we want to give you guys some encouragement just to take advantage of, of this time. Um, get outside, do some things together as a family. Just because you're not supposed to be with other people, um, you can still get outside. In fact, they're even recommending you do that. And Mason Ryer, one of our youth, just finished his Eagle Scout project. He put in a brand new disc golf course here. And so we're going to encourage you, hey, well, here's one idea. You can come by the church and borrow some discs. We'll wipe them down when you're done <laughs> and, um, and get out and enjoy a new disc golf course. That's right. It starts right over by the Gaga ball pit. That's yep. that brown box. It's over by the pavilion, if you don't know what that is. It starts there. It's easy to follow, and we'd love to have you on the property uh, doing that. I also just want to let you know that our church uh, building is going to be available for prayer um, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Thursdays from 9 to noon. So feel free to just drop by and have prayer for what's going on in our world, for what's going on in the life of our church, and that's going to be an important time. This is also an anxious time for children, and we were asking ourselves of what we can do for children. We're still working on some of our ideas, but Deanna, share a little bit. Yeah, so we're working on some ideas. Um, we'll have something out every week for you, for um, you to play for your kids. It could be an activity, it could be a video with follow-up questions. It's it's going to be fun and exciting, so I encourage you all to check in as parents and come alongside and have well, something fun for your kids to, to see every, every single week. Yeah. So we're learning. We're learning new ways of, of doing things. Um, we, we should, before this week is up, have a YouTube channel. Hopefully that's where this video is going, going to be. That will be our church's specific channel. And so you'll be able to go to our website. You'll be able to access our, our web channel. You can subscribe to it on YouTube. And so there'll be a lot of ways that we're going to be communicating. We're going to do our best to communicate 
and we'll be rolling out other things as we need to. We understand that communication in this time is hard, it's challenging, um, but we have some great ideas and some ways to try to keep you connected. And so we want to encourage you in this time. Uh, we're, this is not a time of discouragement for the church. This is actually a time of encouragement. We are learning what's truly important. And what's important is not our buildings, it's not our programs, it's the person of Jesus Christ. And he doesn't change based on what's going on in the outside world. There might be a virus moving on, but we all suffer from a virus called sin. And Jesus came to save us from that. And he's teaching us in this time just as well. We know that uh, for some of you, you may have a hard time getting out. You may be concerned because you, you have an illness and maybe you feel your health is compromised and you can't get out. We want to encourage you to reach out to us. Reach out first to your small group leader if you're not part of a small group. Um, reach out to, to me, reach out to Luke, reach out to Deanna, reach out to one of us and let us know you have some needs. If that's getting to the store, we'd love to get to the store um, for you. Um, if you have um, other crises or other needs we need to be aware of, please reach out and let us know. The only way we can help is if we know. And don't assume that other people need help. If you need help, please let us know. We love you, church. We are so grateful that we have this opportunity to serve you and to walk alongside you during a truly unique time um, in our world's history. And so we will continue to pray. We will continue to do our best to serve you, the local church. We love you, and we'll talk to you soon.